figure it out. Live from the Race Barn, episode three. We got a special guest over here. Very special guy to us and the Race Barn, Mr. Kenny Bragg. Hey, how y'all doing? Kenny Bragg, son, that's the man. The man with the plant, the legend. <laughs> the legend. Now, we was joking around. We was trying to figure out what we was going to do for this one. and I don't know. Uh, I think the best name for the whole episode in this weekend is what the hell just happened. It was wild. It started off, the uh, CJ was leading the race, ended up breaking the wheel off, and we demolished it. And, and then Dad, well, Dad actually run before him. Dad run pretty good. Daddy run really good. Man, in the heat race, he was right up there butts. So that was cool to see. I was just happy to see Daddy get up in there and mix it up with them. And then we went out and ran our heat. We ended up winning our heat. It was kind of like, man, there was, we got our car that's good. There was a broke race car, and then one that's running hot. So it was... We was as happy as we could be, I guess. Uh, I kind of lost it a little bit while we was fixing CJ's car for the main. It was just a lot to take in, but he got back out there. He got his starting money, got his starting points, so I guess it was a success. But we ended up third with the limited car. We left for about a half a lap and run in a hole, and, <laughs> and then we ended up third. That's what it was. We made some changes. wasn't wasn't quite what we needed, but... Yeah, we didn't break nothing. We'll be back. We'll try again. Uh, Papa ended up fifth, I think. Six. Six. Yeah. He done good. We got to get Papa out of sixth place, so I don't think. Like, wrong on it. He run, I run it. I run six. Daddy's running it. He runs six. Maybe we got a sixth place car. I don't know. We, we'll try to make it faster. I uh, hate that for CJ. He didn't get to make the main to, to go race, but the main was pretty wild. There was some crazy stuff happening. Glad all the little kiddos are okay. It, that was, I don't know, man. The night was just like to say, what what, what happened? What just happened? But anyway, so I'm going to put my, my buddy old OK Bragg on the spot. Anybody knows us knows Ken, Kenny's, Kenny's my right-hand man. So I'm going to ask you, Kenny, how how did you show up over here? I don't know. I <laughs> showed up one day, and it all started. That's a, it's a funny, nobody really knows. It was like, I, I've seen Kenny, I, anybody that's been through Woodruff has seen Kenny's old GMC, son. You, you knew that, that was Kenny Bragg. I ain't never talked to Kenny before in my life, but I knew that was Kenny Bragg. Yeah, I remember you did when he was raced years ago and spoke to him some and just started coming back, coming around and, and helping out. And it's been good ever since. Mostly good. Mm, it's been good. I don't know, man. We got a list of stuff. We've we've replaced water heaters. We've buried dogs. We've I don't know if it's happened. Me and Kenny's probably done it. It's between fixing the house to whatever. I mean, I I don't know. It's been good. Racing's been good for the last three years, so, and, and it's still good. Getting better too. So we're gonna win. We're gonna win a couple yeah. of them. Oh, yeah. That's the it's plan. Gonna get it's gonna get better. Well, I've asked, I've asked Daddy, I've asked Joanne. I was like, I, I don't really remember how Kenny showed up. I, I really don't remember. And I, d I do remember we was at Lauren's, and I think it was. I don't remember who was leading. It was like me and Jeff Robinson and and Mark and God, maybe somebody else. We was about four wide coming off four down there, and it went to crap. So I mean, like half the field was piled up on the front stretch and we broke all kind of stuff and I was I was sulking. I'm somehow I remember saying, We killed a wheel. What are we gonna do about this B lot wheel? We done broke an axle tube. It was it was bad, but there was a wheel showed up at the shop. And I, I'm ninety nine percent sure this guy right here is the one that showed up with it. And I, I think that was kind of the intro to yeah, I did. I brought it over and dropped it off and then after that I started coming back pretty good ever since. Kenny, Kenny's been with he's been with us through the good and the bad. And I tell you, I, I've never heard Kenny. You, you know, in a race car, whenever you 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 step on it or whatever you want to call it, you know. But Kenny has never, never, ever said he's never told me I'd done that. But I knew I'd done it. He knew I'd done it. We just I don't know, we just get along. Kenny, oh yeah, it's good. Kenny's my boy. A lot of fun. We have a good time. We get serious when we need to, though. And we have fun when we need to. So it's good. It's all good. And all of it's going to work out. 
good good mix of fun and crazy and yeah yeah and seriousness too so a little bit of everything if you had to sum up the rice barn <laughs> in one word i know that's probably <laughs> impossible what what would you say a little wild it gets wild around here sometimes not like running around naked in yard wild nothing like yeah but like i mean just doing anything if you want something tore apart, bring it up here and they'll show you the inside of it. I'm glad you said that because <laughs> I, I remember we was, man, we, we're we like town mechanic over here. It's people stop with lawnmowers and trailers and everything else wanting it fixed and this, that, and the other. And I, I remember that. Kenny said, man, y'all ain't afraid to tear something apart. That, exactly. Y'all want to see the inside <laughs> of something, bring it over here and they'll show it to you. 90% <laughs> of the time it works yeah. again, though. Yeah, it works again, too. Yeah, it does. It does. It was broke when it showed up. You ain't got nothing to lose. Right. Yep, it's all good. It's good stuff. Yeah. Have, we yeah. have a good time. Yep. We're going to get it all straightened back out. It'll be good. So what, uh, I know, any heck, you don't see me, you don't see Ken. Usually you see one of us, see both of us. What's, what's been your best, like, if, uh, maybe not best memory, but what what's something whenever you think about the old shop or or us in general? What's something you think of? Like, uh, it's got to be a memory somewhere because we, we've done some pretty crazy junk. What's something that sticks out? You're just like, yep, I remember that. <laughs> it's just about everything we've done that sticks out. <laughs> <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Everything's good. Enjoy it. Winning races and championships and tearing stuff up and putting it back together. <laughs> Not as proud about tearing stuff up part, yeah, but it happens. Tearing up stuff part kind of gets rough sometimes, but you can get it back together. It's all it's, it'll be back the next week. I guess I mean like in in recent like the last year or so we yeah you know, we built a new race car last year, and then we earned nobody really maybe some people do know kind of what happened we started out with a with a brand new excel race car it was a sunday yeah it was a sunday after the race yeah. and we came to the shop and we completely tore the old barrier out car apart like everything we could use and do all this we worked on that joker every friggin' day like from i don't know four o'clock until it was it was late well, one o'clock at night Except that Friday. Yeah, Friday night, we was there till we got home about five o'clock Saturday morning. We got home five o'clock Saturday morning. Yeah. We had a brand new race car that run. We yeah. set the timing at like three thirty in yeah. the morning at least. Shop. Nobody called the cops. So that's good. And we were back out doing it about nine nine thirty Saturday morning to finish it up and got to the racetrack. Well, after six. We were late, but we made it. I, we made it. So. I know. I mean, thank God for y'all out here because we, we had a brand new race car. It didn't have a sticker one on it. And I was in the house cutting out, putting out stickers. And the, Kenny was out here getting the dang thing ready and set up. And we was going through this, that, and the other. And I, I just remember getting to the racetrack. And it, don't get me wrong. There was relief that we made. It was like, somehow we made a freaking racetrack. But yeah. we was all about to die. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah, and made about four laps in the main and ended up knocking a nose rack off. So. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Well, come back and finished out the year good and won the points again, so that was good. It was. It was good, man. It's, we got we, we got so much potential with the new ride, and we're just trying to figure out the right way to get there. And It's, it's close. It's close. It, it, it's so close, you can put one or two rounds in here or there, and it can make you or break you. Yeah take much to to be good or to be bad be bad we, we're still hunting for like one of them 1440s like them tim's okay. dudes can run i think they we can... need to check in with them boys and see what's going on <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh old, old larry and dale man they've been good as gold man they've they've helped us out with stuff and all we're just gonna we're gonna keep hustling and try to get where we need to be we'll get there we're getting close about three more tents and we'll be pretty good you know, I think it's easier to make up like a second than it is like tenths, so. though. Well, a second would be fine, too. That's full second. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so I'm wishing with a limited car running 1350s. There's going to be some drama in paradise. We'll hurt some feelings. It'll be all right. 
But if it'll do it, I won't stick it in the wall or wreck it. I well, we <laughs> might can get we might make it work. But no, it, it's been, been a pretty interesting week over at, at the barn. Bob, our good friend of ours, Bobby Bragg, bought him a, a 602 late model. We're trying to get it together. He's out he's out in front of the shop now, melting lead. About 300 pounds worth. Uh, thanks, Jerry, for rounding that up. We might start eating some more beans and drinking more beer, I guess. Son, he's 300 pounds worth of beans. He's going to be hurting. Yeah, he'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I got distracted. They, uh, the, the area around us is kind of developing, so there's like tractors and crap riding down the road all the time. But I told, I told Bobby we was going to get him on over here. I don't know what in the world he's doing. He's back. Well, I do know what he's doing. He's melting lead. Bobby! Hmm. Oh, that ain't good. He didn't die of lead poison. <laughs> Maybe he'll be there Saturday. We're going to try to get him there Saturday. Uh, I hope he'll be there Saturday. We get all the lead. All the lead took care of and put on the car. He should be there. He can go make him a few laps Thursday. Hey, tell you, oh, oh, Bobby, I, I've seen Bobby race go karts, and I know go karts and cars ain't the same thing or whatever. But Bobby is like, he's really good at getting what you can get out of something. He's smooth. He's pretty smooth, so that's good. He should be okay. Give him a little bit of time. Yeah, he'll be all right. You know, a, a big part though, like with when you talk about race car drivers, there's certain guys that can like, they can get it done. Like they can, they can find speed even when it ain't right. Yeah, that's true. I don't think that's my strong suit. I mean, we... Well, you have found speed before. The car would be close and be a little off, and you still be fast, so that's good. So. I know old, old Bobby, though, man, I've, I've seen him. He just, he can find that sweet spot, and that's just... Yeah. I think the old boy's going to be pretty good. He's been he's been good to us. He hangs out at the barn pretty regularly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, shoot. He works out for him. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. You just can't get discouraged because it's... It, man, this stuff's hard. It's so friggin' hard. And then it, it's one thing to make it back to the racetrack every week. Yeah. But dang, it's tough. It's tough. You you get them back, they get broke, get bent. You try to fix it back and, and make the best out of it. That's right. That's exactly right. That's separates the good from the bad, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if they're good or bad, but it definitely tells who wants it and who don't. <laughs> who wants it and who don't. That's exactly right. So. A little bit of want to go long, a long yeah, way. A little bit of want to is all you need. You got to work on them. You can't let them sit there. You can't. Luckily, I got Kenny helps me out a bunch because <laughs> I'd, I'd probably like I was 90 years old now if it wasn't for Kenny. Tell you, Kenny's my boy. I, I, dude, I appreciate everything you do. Yeah. I value your friendship. I value, not just because you work on my junk or nothing like that, but these. They ain't but a handful of people I can count on one hand that I know if I ever get in a pickle to help me out. And by God, you want to. I feel the same way. I do. I feel the same way. Y'all been good to me, so it's been good. We love Kenny Bragg. You can't just call him Kenny. You got to call him Kenny Bragg. The kids, they just pop up every time Kenny pulls up. <laughs> well, we're going to try again Saturday. Young Guns are off this week. Uh, we're the pop mobile ready to go again. Yeah. We're going to make some... Changes the other way with the limited car, and it's going to be good. I'm going to call it now, 14-6. Good weekend. Sounds good. Then we can get six? Yeah. We'll run two. Mm, let's try for six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Till next time. Y'all be good.